Hey everybody. So I'm going to attempt a quick recap of what we went over in class today. Um, today is Tuesday, November the 23rd. It's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Anyway, um, mostly housekeeping stuff is what I want to cover in the video because honestly there's not a good way to recap the uh, discussion of Sunjata. So if you have questions about Sunjata, feel free to send me a message. Otherwise, you know, post to discussion threads and share your thoughts. Um, we will pick back up with a little bit more Sunjata stuff next week. Um, we have one more class period. It's next Tuesday. We'll finish up Sunjata and we'll kind of go over the review for test number three. Um, as far as housekeeping, how yeah. As far as housekeeping stuff, um, first things first, we went over the guide for the final literary analysis essay in class today. The guide is basically, um, you need to talk about one and possibly two texts from the class. When I say possibly two, I mean, you're allowed to talk about as many as two. You may not discuss more than that. Um, so at least one text from class, no more than two texts from class. You need to have some kind of a claim that you're going to make about that text or those two texts. And the claim needs to be something that's surprising enough that like it's not like already obvious and a thing that people would immediately agree with, but not so far fetched that it's like totally from out of left field. All right. So it needs to be some kind of grounded claim. That's your thesis statement. Um, and more so than with the midterm essay, it needs to be focused in on how the text functions as a text, right? So that might be in terms of poetics and like uses of repetition and enjambments or um, kennings, epithets, character descriptions. It might be in that kind of stuff. It might also be in the way that something more in terms of like narrative and plot, right? Uh, like the way that um, The way that characters keep getting involved in the same, like a, the same scenario with a slight difference, right? Um, over and over again in some of these stories. So it could be like that. Anyway, what I'm saying is more than the text in context set up for the midterm essay, this needs to be the, the text as a piece of writing, okay? Um, and another thing that's different from the midterm essay is that with the final literary analysis essay, you're going to use at least three peer-reviewed academic sources. So if you don't already know what those are, you are in luck because I already posted about it in Canvas. So if you look back at the announcements at some of the roundups from over the weekend, one of the, th one of the links in, I think it's in the second of the video, uh, second of the announcements posts. But anyway, one of the links is like literally a slideshow guide to how to find peer reviewed sources. Peer review refers to a specific type of academic publishing that involves a double blind peer review of the article that's been submitted, right? So I submit it, if I wanna submit an article and get it published in a really prestigious publication, my article comes in, the editors are like, well, it looks like it could be good, but we're gonna double blind, send it to two experts in the field so they don't know who's, article it is and I don't know who they are okay and you get that kind of feedback and it goes through usually a few rounds before it gets published it's a form of quality control it doesn't always work but it's um because that rigor is there it's considered um more reliable and more carefully vetted than some of the other types of publications you're going to use three of those you don't have to go find out for yourselves what which publications are peer-reviewed because there is a single button like one one single checkbox, one checkbox that you have to click to get those results from the library website. I emphasize it this way because I posted the video that is literally a slideshow of click here, click here, click here, starting at the like UNA login to the library screen and going all the way through to find sources. I did that. And yet, um, based on prior experience, people will get into the middle of their searching and they will pick a bunch of things that are not peer reviewed sources and I will say, nope, those are not peer reviewed sources and they'll say, well, I don't know how to find peer reviewed sources and I'll be like, are you on the library site? And they'll say, no, and, I'll be like, and I will be over here like, well, that's why because it is super difficult to find out whether the sources are peer reviewed if you are somewhere other than on the library site that has the magic checkbox. So there's that um, and the essay needs to be five to seven pages and obviously it should have a works cited page and um those are like the 
big picture guides. We talked about some big themes during class. I'm going to post the finalized prompts by 8 p.m. tomorrow. I think I'll probably get it done earlier than that, but I've got some medical appointments earlier than in the day. And y'all know you go to the doctor, sometimes you're there half an hour, sometimes you're there half the day. So I'm kind of leaving myself some leeway. Anyhow, by 8 p.m., I'll have the final versions of the prompts up, and they'll give you that guidance that I just recapped, and then kind of pull together some of the themes for you to suggest, you know, starting points for, that you can work from. And the essays themselves are due the same day that we have the final, but I mean, like, you don't come to class and take a final, right? It's the whole day, but the same day of our final. They're due by 11.59 that night. Um, as far as the prompts for the essay part of the final test, like test number three, the, te the layout of that test is just like the layout for, S for test one and test two. But the only thing that's different about this one is that I'm gonna give you the prompts before you sit down to take the test. So before you're on the timer, I'll give them to you when we come back to class next Tuesday. It's, the essay isn't any longer or anything like that. Literally, the only difference is that you get the prompts in advance. And the reason basically is it just lowers the stress level of during finals. OK, so the other part of the test, the part A, is still you know timed and everything. You just log in and type this up separately. OK, also with the tests. So um, I'm really big. I don't know if you can tell this or not. Like, I don't I don't know how much students can really tell about my teaching philosophy or anything, but I'm really big, in case you didn't know, on this idea that what's really important is your mastery of, skill, of the skills and materials over the course of the semester. And so kind of, I'm less interested in whether you understand everything in September than in where you end up at the end of the semester. And all of the kind of assessments that we do along the way are sort of like to gauge whether you are getting it, right? So that it's not like a total shock at the end of November. Um, so that means that there is sort of a, um, what do I want to call it? Not a, it's a chance to earn points, but it's not really extra credit because it's more like demonstrating that you can do better now than you could back then, right? It's not so much extra credit as extra learning. For test A, sorry, for test one and test two, each of which has a part A and part B, um, part B is part B is the essay, as you may recall. Um, yeah, we're done with that. But for part A, on test one and test two, you have the option. I'm not going to make you do it. But for test one and test two, part A, which is the short answer, fill in the blank kind of stuff, you have the option of retaking it uh, essentially. And the like, it's the same question bank. I just duplicate and you know canvas remixes so it's not gonna be the same questions in the exact same order but it is going to be pulling from the same question bank as each of those first two tests if you would like to do that and you do in fact make a better score than you did the first time because you know the stuff better now after you know a semester of engaging with similar stuff reinforcement if you want to do that do it by this Saturday, so the Saturday after Thanksgiving by 8 p.m. Uh, and if you make a better grade on that second version, then I replace your grade on the old version, right? Like I just do a replace. Um, somebody asked in class, no, I will not revise your grade downward, okay? So like I don't dial it down. I just wanna know, do you get the stuff better than now than you did a month, two months ago? Um, so that's that. I'm trying, like, I'm trying really hard to think, do we go over anything else that was like procedural? I have a list of terms to give you, I guess that. Um, I have a list of terms to give you. You'll see it in Canvas. I'll post it with the prompts for the final literary analysis in Canvas tomorrow evening. Other than that, review Sanjata. Sanjata. Um, we went over the material sort of the contextual material from your Norton anthology. Obviously, we also talked about some specifics within the text. We were particularly interested in the way that the narrator keeps interrupting his own story. So the, so the narrator's interjections uh, throughout this piece. And that's kind of where we left it. So if you have questions about anything that I just said. Um, oh, one last thing. 
if you are taking me up, if you're taking me up on the opportunity to revise your midterm essay and turn that back in, don't forget that I need those by like the Monday night that we come back from Thanksgiving, okay? So that I can, you know, grade them and stuff. Um, fewer people than I was anticipating have told me that they're going to do it. Uh, so this is kind of a reminder that if you think you would like to, it would be a good idea to let me know, especially because some of you could probably use a little extra help. Just saying. Um, okay, I think that's it. If you got questions, let me know. Um, I'll look forward to chatting with everybody one last time next Tuesday. Bye-bye.